Good afternoon, let's do your Saint tutorial. You're gonna have your tins and you just push on the back and they slide out, okay? So you'll slide it out. I do recommend that you save the top. It can be useful for a couple of things. And you'll have your eight piece tin to put them into. So once you slide them out, then they just pop in. And you can um, maneuver them in and out as you want. I'll show you what I did, the colors that I did. I'm gonna try and block the, the light. So I put them in order that we're gonna use them. So this is Frenchie that we're gonna use to cover up any under eye darkness. And then your highlight, which will be sunlit. This is Sandy. This is Ash, your contour. I know you don't have a blush, you're gonna use what you've got, but I put my blush in there, and then we have Bella Bronzer. And then on the bottom, I put the Vanilla Dusting Powder. This is Sabrina, this is Oak, and then this is Foxy. And then this I stuck in there because that's my little um, brush cleaner sponge. But you can use that little flat end, and like instead of digging your fingers and getting them messy, you can get it under there and it'll pop the tins up for you. So that's just like one of the uses. But I keep all mine, I just do. All right, so you're gonna start off with toner, whether that be rose water, which you have to use, whatever brand it is, clean, dry face. You're gonna squirt your toner on. Just kind of let it air dry a little bit. I usually have a fan on, I don't now, just for noise reasons. Um, next, you would do your CeraVe, or whatever moisturizer you're gonna use, preferably with SPF, just because of the season we're in, although you should wear SPF at any time. Okay. And then next will be your primer, and that's what's gonna kinda put a barrier between that SPF, which can get a little tacky, and your makeup. So I've been kind of double dosing it. I've been using this Tula, which is a mattifying primer. Same thing, you're just gonna put it all over. And technically you wanna wait about 15 minutes between primer and makeup application because I don't usually have that kind of extra time, just because I just don't usually make time for it. I've been using our setting spray, which also acts like a primer on top of my Tula primer, just so I can quickly go ahead and apply and not have to worry about waiting the 15 minutes. Um, so that way I kind of get a double dose of primer. So now it's time for our makeup. We're gonna take our palette and we're gonna open it up and I'm gonna go with this Frenchie and I'm gonna take my ring finger and you're just gonna lightly apply it under your eye where you've got some discoloration and you're gonna kind of pull it down like you're putting it under it, under it but you're gonna kind of pull it down so you don't leave it just like that. You're kind of doing a, a V-shaped, okay? See that it's real light, but well, it's gonna offset that, that darkness. Then we have the buff brush. So both of the ends are the same. One's a little bigger than the other. I'm gonna take the smaller end first. This is, this is not sunlit, but this is your sunlit. Mine is on borrowed to my mom. So take your sunlit and the small end, okay? And we're gonna, Kind of start in the middle of your face, go down your nose, and on your chin. So it kind of did like a tulip, and then straight down. And then we're gonna go right there at the corner of your eye. And we're kind of making a big check all the way out to your temple, okay? And we're gonna do that on the other side too. And then I'm just gonna kind of connect it, okay? 
So really you're right there in the middle. I'm just gonna take what's left of my brush and kind of dab it on my eyes and just pull what's left down my neck. Same brush. I'm gonna go into Sandy. That's your main color. We're just kind of dabbing. It's easier to add two versus take away and it doesn't take very much. So we're gonna kind of draw a rainbow on our forehead. We're gonna kind of do another check mark, okay? Just to make it easier. So check mark there. And then we're gonna do another check mark here. And you wanna make sure you get both sides of your chin. And down your nose. And then take what's ever left and drag it down your neck. And I just also do the same thing to my eyelids, take what's left and brush it on. Okay, we're gonna go into the third one, which is your contour, and that is ash. Still that small end. We're just patting it in there, right above that sandy, okay? You're not putting it on top of it, you're putting it right above it. And then you're gonna put it right here in between those two colors, but you're gonna stop kind of like right halfway. It's like right where your cheekbone is, okay? And do your jawline and you can go all the way across and then take what's left and pull down. I'm going to flip it to the big side and I'm just going to kind of blend. I meant kind of pat to blend. I kind of start in the middle and work my way out. Just be really gentle on that skin under your eye. Make sure you're patting and not pulling. Okay. And you always kind of want to pat out versus patting in. If you want more contour, you can always go back and add it. Once you blend it all together, if you want a little bit more definition, Make sure you've got good light. Make sure it's all blended in, okay? I do do my lips also because that'll give your lipstick a little bit more staying power and give you a little bit more with your color, if that makes sense. Okay, so at this point, you would use your blush that you have. I'm gonna go in with this Hollywood because that's the blush I'm using. I'm on that big end of my brush. And I'm just kind of patting up, okay? I didn't come all the way down. And it's not even on the apple of my cheek. It's just a little bit back. And you apply the amount to get the color that you want, okay? There's not really any rules. And if you don't put these on in the exact order, it's not gonna look funny. It's very blendable. It's very easy on the skin. And you're gonna do great. Um, all right, next. We're gonna switch over to that fluffy brush. This is the bronzer and blush brush. I have the Bella bronzer, okay? So I'm gonna take, you can really use either end. I'm gonna apply it with the smaller end and just kind of put it there at the back of my blush and kind of along my forehead. Technically, when you do bronzer, it's kind of in a three or an E, whichever way you're looking at it. So then I'm gonna Go with that fluffy end and just kind of blend it in some, okay? And that's gonna kind of give you that summer glow. Or if you get too um, bright and you need a darker color, you can kind of add it wherever you want. That's kind of the good thing. It just kind of, it's personalized to you to get the look that you want. This is the multitasker. And then this is the smudge brush. I'm gonna take this fatter end and dip that into this ash. And just do a little tad under that bottom lip. And that's just gonna help pronounce it a little bit just to give it a little bit fuller looking lip. Um, you were using the lipstick that you had. So I'm gonna throw on, this is Tropicana. 
So we are gonna hop over to your eyes. We did put foundation on your eyes, so you kind of have a base already, okay? This one's more flat, this one's more rounded. All right, I'm gonna put it in the flatter end into the vanilla dusting powder. Just kind of give it a smooth finish to start on. Okay, Sabrina is gonna be your first color. We're gonna stick with that same wide end of the smudge brush. And we're just gonna kinda pat it on there. And you're gonna brush it all over your lid, all the way up to your brow, okay? So that's just kinda like our base color. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. This is the flat end of the multitasker, and we're going to go into this oak. Okay, I'm just going to kind of pat it on. I'm not even stroking it. I literally just kind of pushed it down. Okay, and we're going to do a V. That's kind of like the easiest way to help you get a pretty everyday eye and not really have to do anything. So we're doing a V and we're coloring it in, okay? Same with the other. So we've got our V, see V, and then we're just kind of kind of coloring it in. You can do it as dark or as light as you want, and you can always add to. If it gets too dark, you just blend, 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 and it'll go away. So I'm gonna take that little rounded part of that smudge brush, and I'm just gonna kind of soften that edge a little bit. I'm just kind of doing like a windshield washer stroke, okay? Let's take the same end we used for the Sabrina and the dusting powder, and we're going to pat it into this Foxy. It's kind of that copperish golden color, and we're just going to start from the inside and pat out, okay? I'm going to give a little bit of a flick. Get a little blending together there. I'm gonna take that small end into the Sabrina and just make sure that's kind of softened right there where we wanted it. Okay, and you got your easy eye. We're gonna take the small side of that multitasker brush and you can grab your rose water. I've got my toner. And I'm just getting it, I'm just brushing it on the spritzer part because it doesn't take much liquid. I'm just getting it a little damp. And I'm going to dab it into that oak. That's going to be our liner, okay? And we're going to just kind of smudge it under our eye. I'm only going about, I don't know, two-thirds of the way in. Okay and dab it back into that oak. If it dries up in between your bottom and your top, you can just get a little bit more damp. I think mine did. And it's just gonna give you a real soft lined eye look. All right, so the last thing we want to do, I'm going to um, just kind of pat off the small end of my buff brush, and I'm going to go into this vanilla dusting powder. I am brushing that one. I'm not patting it. I'm really pulling it through, and I'm going to just kind of pat it underneath my eyes. I'm going to pat it on my eyeshadow. And then kind of anywhere you feel like you have some creasing. Okay. We're going to take the Perfector sponge and my setting spray. And I'm going to squirt the sponge. And I'm going to squeeze it. You don't want to use it dry. You want to use it damp, but not like dripping. 
and we're just kind of patting it all over the face. It's picking up two in one kind of motion here again. It's picking up any extra makeup if we got a little heavy handed. And you're getting that setting spray applied to your face. I forgot. Lastly, really, is your mascara. And there's your whole face. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks so much.